in today's video i want to share with you a very amazing opportunity that will allow you to move to the usa under the f1 visa and that is the study route and that this is opportunities or these are opportunities that are centered around nursing so if you're looking for opportunities to move and relocate to usa under the f1 visa then this is the kind of video you should watch till the end because i want to be sharing with you a very or very amazing amazing opportunities and that is three universities that are giving a lot of scholarships uh, one has more than 25 scholarships and this is for you to get everything from your flights covered to you getting accommodation and even them sorting your stipend if you're coming across my video for the first time my name is candy i share information matters relocation for jobs to study and also for conferences if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i do not take it for granted i really really appreciate you guys please remember to like and share this video that way you'll help youtube recommend this video to more people please guys bear with me if there is any uh background noise but i want to share with you and i want to do an introduction then i'll be sharing these amazing universities that are giving scholarships it is also good for me to explain what these scholarships are about and how you're going to get in and how you're going to apply firstly you need to know if you're applying for these kind of scholarships or generally if you're applying for any scholarship you have to get admission to the school first so what you need to do once i share these websites with you and these universities you need to go to these websites and read on the eligibility criteria of what is required for you to study nursing in these universities in the usa once you uh, you know that you're eligible and that is checking your grade uh, how much you had in high school and etc etc once you know that you're eligible you now apply for admission admissions are open from now until the match or applications are open from now until the march of 2024 then once uh, after march they uh, release a list of people who have been given uh, acceptance uh, it for admission and now once you get your acceptance letter your, your admission letter you now apply for the scholarships you cannot apply for these scholarships in these kind of universities if you do not have admission first so there are a lot of amazing scholarships in these universities there are scholarships that are only centered in these specific universities i'm going to share with you for nursing students so if you dream to relocate and move to the usa as a nurse even to study alone this is the place you're supposed to uh, start because it will give you a heads up you'll have um usa qualifications and then after that you can integrate in the system smoothly because you love all credentials that are required for you to settle and you've already studied in the us please guys do the needful go to these websites read as much as you can and ensure that each and every thing that is needed for you to get admitted into these universities that is when you're doing your application you present it whether they want a recommendation letter whether they want your transcript please ensure you always attach the copies of each and everything they are asking because this is what determines if you'll get your admission once you get your admission you apply for these scholarships and it is also good for me to give you a secret when you're applying for these scholarships ensure that you apply if a school has more than 10 scholarships ensure that you apply for all the scholarships because at least you'll get one or two scholarships to choose from as i have said 80% or uh, 80 to 85% of these scholarships cover everything from visa sponsorship that is the F1 visa route and then they give you uh, they pay your flight tickets to the US to study and also they give you accommodation whether inside or outside school and they give you a monthly stipend because I realize in most cases to study in the US uh, you cannot work uh, like in the UK because the UK a system allows you or gives students liberty to work uh, 20, 20 hours a week but i've also come to realize in the u.s that is not the case so these universities are going to be giving you stipend that will allow or that will help you manage when you're studying so guys please let me share my screen with you then at your own free time you can do the necessary